right over now to the results of the autopsy conducted on Jeffrey Epstein. And it reveals some disturbing new information about his death, raising new questions about whether it was a suicide or maybe even a homicide. RT correspondent John Huddy has been following the story and is joining us live from Miami with the latest on this case. John, what did those results say? Well, Manila have found that Epstein suffered multiple breaks in his neck bones, specifically a broken hyoid bone, which is basically located in men uh, kind of near the Adam's apple. So it's right around here. Uh, and a fractured hyoid, according to various experts and, and medical journals and reports, is commonly associated with strangulation, though it can occur in those who, um, uh, who hang themselves, particularly if they are older. But again, most experts agree that the common cause is strangulation. So, uh, Manila, this clearly now raises questions about what happened in Epstein's jail cell. If he committed suicide by hanging or if someone attacked and killed him. CBS News reported uh, this week that screaming and shouting was heard from Epstein's jail cell at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, the MCC in Manhattan, before his death, though those reports are not confirmed. U.S. Attorney General William Barr said this week that there were, quote unquote, serious ir irregularities at the jail leading up to Epstein's death. An investigation is underway, specifically, as we've been reporting, looking at staffing shortages at the jail and reports that two of the guards said that they fell asleep sleep for several hours before Epstein's death and then falsified the records to basically cover their tracks. But at this point, there's a lot of speculation, various theories about what may, what may not have happened, including those that Epstein was murdered. Even President Trump, as we know, has weighed in on this overall theory. That said, Epstein's arrest and indictment has renewed focus on his possible co-conspirators, or at least uh, putting his circle of rich and powerful friends under the microscope. And among them, his former former partner and friend, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, who is accused of essentially running Epstein's alleged sex trafficking operation, Manila. Now, John, speaking of Ms. Maxwell, is there any indication yeah. of where in the world she might be at this point? Well, yeah, it's a good question. Look, there have been reports that she left London, where she'd been living, and is essentially laying low in light of not only Epstein's arrest, but the renewed accusations and focus on her involvement with Epstein and possibly with his crimes, though I should add she is not being charged with any crimes yet. There have been some reports that she may be uh, basically holed up at the mansion of her supposed boyfriend, a guy named Scott Borgeson, uh, in Manchester by the Sea, which is an affluent seaside community just north of Boston in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Uh, this isn't confirmed, and Borgerson, the CEO of a tech company, has denied that she's there. I mean, why would he confirm if she was there? Um, whatever the case, Maxwell is certainly now a major part of the story and Epstein's sordid background. She's denied the accusations and allegations against her, uh, but so far has not commented on a new lawsuit brought forth uh, by her, uh, by, uh, against her by another Epstein victim, Jennifer Arroyo's, who claims that Maxwell recruited her when she was just 14 to work for Epstein, who ultimately, uh, according to Arroyo's, sexual abused and raped her. Um, at this point, we're waiting to see what happens with the case against Epstein, the the criminal case. Uh, certainly, there's going to be civil lit litigation. Uh, also, specifically, if FBI agents turned up anything of value on his island, Little St. James, uh, which the feds raided earlier this week, along with the NYPD, uh, and that island, of course, as we know, is known as uh, Pedophile Island by the locals on St. Thomas. Uh, so far, Manila, we have not heard of any other warrants being carried out at this point, uh, either having to do with his two islands or his office space, even at the American Yacht harbor on St. Thomas. But despite his death, the investigations continue and questions now about what will happen with the two islands, with Little St. James and then Great St. James right across the bay. Will they be sold? Will someone else take them over? And of course, what will happen at this point with his employees? So a lot of questions remaining as the story and as the case and as the investigations continue. Manila, back to you. John Hattie, thank you. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.